what's going on here. I can go live. Come on. Hello. Hello. All right, let's try this again. Apparently, I am live. Okay. I'm live. Good. It's almost at the time that I said that I was going to be live. So there we are. Okay, today I've got something special. Um, and before I start, uh, the reason why I'm going live once again is because I am planning to do, or actually I do all of my uh, unboxings and first impressions live now. Uh, that way you get an unfiltered and unedited uh, reaction from me. And uh, yeah, my thoughts without actually getting any edits or any time to to think and reflect or anything it's not a response to a fragrance it's a reaction and that's what it is um and it's pretty special this time because uh i came across a uh, commodity now I've, I've i know commodity as a fragrance brand has been around for a while and uh i've i've not actually had a chance to smell any of their fragrances now I look up I had a look at them and they had this novel concept called the scent space, which basically is the same scent in three different uh, strengths so that you can control the amount of projection and sillage that you get. So you get like, you know, the, the one the one softer scent and then you get the, the medium level and then you get the strong uh, sort of scent. Uh, it's all the same uh, scent. So basically... Or maybe it has maybe different different aspects of that scent amped up uh, or toned down so that uh, the proje the projection is <clears throat> measured. So uh, they call this sense base, and I thought that's pretty novel. And I did something that I've never done before, and that is I reached out to them. They're the first uh, company that I've reached out to. Sent them a message. And I said hello. This is very interesting. Would you like to collab? And they said, uh, yeah here's here's some stuff now admittedly uh they've sent me moss uh the title says moss that's what i got i know what i've got i've got the scent space pack for moss so what i'm expecting to get in this box is which is very light is sort of three little samples of moss so moss minus the regular moss which came out in 2013 and then moss plus and that's that's going by the strength okay so without further ado, I will get my trusty uh, craft knife and uh, and open the box. Now this box came today, and I haven't. And I've been let. I've been patient. I've been. I've been good. I haven't actually uh, <laughs> opened it to smell it beforehand. Uh, so there you go. Win to my self control. Exciting times. All right, I will put this lid back on. Otherwise, I'm going to probably stab myself later on all right and in the box and this is hilarious i've got the the sample pack <laughs> the rest of the box is just is just paper okay cool i like i like the fact that they've packed it in in, in, an, in an enormous box like this which i'll uh, promptly either reuse or um recycle recycle kids because you know the environment and future things so there it is this is the scent space kit it's upside down but we we all know how to read it's the scent space kit and i have got does it actually say what i've got in here it doesn't it's a mystery scent space kit commodity scent space kit and this is like the symbolism that goes with it this is like the, the personal one and then there's the other one what's it what's this shit called uh, or is it perfumery, blah, 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 sense base, yep, 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 expressive, that's it, 
personal, expressive, and uh, beast mode. I don't know what they call it, but they call it something. Uh, oh, here it is on the back. Personal, expressive, and bold. You can tell I don't do these things very often, right? So, uh, personal, expressive, bold. Not bald, uh, but bold. All right. Let's uh, open. Let's open. Ethical, elemental, atypical. Um, yeah, okay. If you say so. Um, commodity. Interesting name for a, for a fragrance brand anyway, commodity. It's in, you know, like orange juice is a commodity or, or, or pork bellies is a commodity or something like that. That's what I usually think of when I hear the word commodity. But uh, fragrance. Hmm. Interesting, interesting name for a fragrance brand. Okay, open plastic be gone into the ocean because that's where it belongs. All right, here we go. This is the box. Let's push, push, push to take the thing off. And inside we have, all right. First, I will read to you personal. For those who prefer a subtle personal skin scent, to be noticed by you and the few you allow close. Expressive is for those who prefer a fragrance that expresses the perfect balance of longevity and project projection to be noticed by you and the many around you. And bold is for those intent on making a statement. Bold and audacious to be noticed by you and everyone else. That sounds like the one I'm going to like. Okay. Moss. Moss, moss, moss. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look. Moss, moss, like I said, it's been around since 2013. You got yourself some some bergamot uh, in in the opening. And Elemi, which I do like. I'm a fan of Elemi. Elemi resin uh, is, is, a, is a love it or not hate it, but more like, mm, like that uh, kind of fragrance note. Elemi is sort of got almost like a resinous quality, but at the same time, almost has like a citrusy, gingery kind of quality as well. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Okay, this is the, this, these are the three sort of bottles. They, they, their whole line sort of comes with, uh, so all the, all the personal ones are in the white bottles and then the regular black bottles f with the white font for the, uh, for the expressive range and then for the bold, you get the uh, black bottles with the gold or the rose gold lettering. So moss, let's read the, the thingy. Moss, uh, okay, that's a definition of moss on the back, just in case you don't know what moss is. Now, if this was pre-2004, moss would probably contain actual oak moss, but I'm pretty sure there is no oak moss in here and oh well we'll just have to live with whatever uh moss that they could find it says oak moss on the on the note listing i don't believe it because i probably think that a brand like commodity would be very if for compliance so uh i'll i'll uh i'll leave that there okay uh, blah, 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 blah. for juniper berry patchouli hmm, interesting okay Let's have a look at what's in here. Nice, nice. I like the fact that it's actually packed like nicely like this. It's almost like a discovery kit of the same scent in different strengths. And, and whether or not you want to buy this one, this one, or this one. Okay, let's start. Let's go. This, it's, I feel like, uh, I feel like, what's that, uh, what's that thing? Um, what's that troublemaking kid? Goldie, there's a Goldilocks and the, and the three, and the three bears. And she goes and eats all their food. Fucking idiot. That. Why? Why don't you rand, like, walk into a random house and like eat everybody's food? Idiot. Anyway, enough about my uh, rant uh, against Goldilocks. I don't know. She's never done anything to me. But um, okay, let me try out uh, Moss Minus. Moss Minus. Is that what they're called? Moss Minus? It is. Moss minus, moss and moss plus. Okay. Okay. I didn't make the name. 
Uh, let's go. There's two mils in each one of these. Okay. Uh, I will put the minus here on this one. One more because it's a minus. Does it look? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Fresh. Very fresh. Yeah, that's bergamot, all right. Ooh. Okay. Very fresh, I'm pretty sure. And it's quite kind of strong, actually. But I'm assuming I'm not going to get much bouncing off my skin. Okay. Next, we will try the... Just the regular moss. And it's even got the little uh, symboly thingies uh, here on the... That's that, that sort of... That, that, um, uh, that, that black one in the uh with the with the white sort of frame uh outline in the center that is you and then all the white dots are the people around you that will be able to smell this uh on on the moss minus you can see there's only one person around you and probably on the moss plus you've got a whole host of people who are smelling you from all over the place all right um, this one is going to go further up the arm, maybe on the old bicep. I'm not trying to show off, all right? Um, not that there is much to show off. I've become very flabby recently. All right. Ooh. That's got a bit more kick to it. <clears throat> you know what? So far, I prefer the opening of the Moss Minus. It gets straight to the point. <laughs> And it's already at orange blossom and musk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a reaction. What about this one? Is there tobacco in here? In this one? Don't understand. Why would there be? No. No, there isn't. A lot more musk. That's gone. That's gone full sort of skin scent musk, which is nice. It's 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 good. It's very personal. I don't get much off the skin. <laughs> Try the regular musk. Yeah, what is that? What is that? That's something. Something dry and. Something dry and. Uh, yeah, let me look. What is that? It's not the eucalyptus. It's probably the cedar. That's that's what it is. There's cedar in the base on this one. Uh, Moss Plus. Where are you at? All right. That should be different, apparently. Moss Plus should just be total oak moss. Oak moss city. And I'm going to put it on, on the other arm. Like that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's oak moss. Oh, that's good. Says the guy who likes vintage fragrances. Yes, that is good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So circling back to what's happening here. All right. So the opening of Moss Minus. Very nice, very citrusy. Uh, I do not detect to any sort of harshness to it or anything like that. It's it's a very pleasant opening, but then it quickly settled down, like quickly settled down to musk and a skin scent, which is, I guess, it's doing what it says on the box. The regular moss, when I sprayed it on, it had perfumers al alcohol that went straight up my nostrils okay and whilst and i don't get too much oak moss uh in this one this has got the least amount of moss in it that i could detect and it's and it's more cedary maybe cedar and eucalyptus is what i'm picking up but it's definitely more more woody than 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 mossy and there's still there's still bergamot in all of these, it's very bergamot forward. That's fine. Um, but yeah, the 
the, the surrounding notes and what's actually coming once the bergamot fades is quite evident already. Moss Plus is the best one by a long way. Oh my God, that is good. Yeah, that is that is really good. So like if it was me, I'd be, okay. Um, and so in order of, of preference for me, okay, number three is just the regular moss even though it's probably going to last longer and project more than Moss Minus. I just, the smell, I think is, is not as good as Moss Minus, which is coming in second place. Yeah. And almost has a, almost has a similarity to uh, the Boucheron Pour Homme. It's got that softness. It's got that elegance in there as well. Mmm, that's really good. Um, I'd, I'd probably rock this in sort of warmer weather. Definitely. Uh, it's very clean, sort of white white t-shirt or white shirt, something like that, in warmer weather. And this... Oh, this... Oh, yes. It's a nod to old school oak moss without being harsh, animalic fecal nothing like that it's it's clean it's oak moss and it's not i mean it's not real oak moss but it's a very good representation of oak moss ah oh, yes i get no patchouli in here though i'm getting no patchouli in here at all like i get the i get the juniper berries there's a bit of a zing there's a bit of a, a, a an effervescence in there that juniper sort of sort of gives you the sharpness but it's all smooth, mossy goodness. Moss Plus is the winner here. So yes, if I was able to recommend as in, in, in my style, and then this is the good thing about it, I guess. It's a very novel concept. So, uh, and, the, and the fragrances themselves are not identical, which, is, which I thought they would be. I thought they would be identical and they would have different levels of perfume oil concentrations, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they, they do, but which oils and i think the the blend is different uh in in each one so as to uh allow you to control the level of projection that you want um yeah so th i think they've also yeah we're thinking about it i think they've also considered that maybe the people who don't want to project very much and have you know a skin scent basically are are wanting something more apt for 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 a, a, a someone who wants a skin scent so the musk is what takes center stage here quite quickly and uh it it, it allows it, it and musks work really well uh, as a skin scent obviously because they almost imitate the smell of of skin or our or our um our understanding of what skin uh kind of smells like uh the regular moss uh Okay. Not my favorite. Yeah, I smell uh, neroli in here as well. Again. But but really, I don't get any moss out of actual regular moss. So that's that's interesting. Uh, yeah, the blend again is different. So it's it's gone to like neroli now, and this one, which is heap stronger. And ooh, good, good. Maybe there's some earthy patchouli in there. Nothing dirty, nothing even chocolatey. It's just green earthy patchouli in there and moss. And it is, it's really good. And the, the sharpness of the uh, juniper is sort of smoothed out a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, moss plus. You win. You win, sir. You win. Um, that is, I think that is it uh, for this. I am very happy to have been, I mean, even even this. Look, I'm very appreciative uh, to Commodity for having sent this to me. Um, and and I'm, I'm happy to have uh, a really good introduction to, to their fragrances. And uh, yeah, 
really nice moss uh, very simple very novel concept uh, I like it uh, I might have to explore a little bit further uh, what else they have uh, because I think they have like I said they've been around for a bit and they they've got a quite quite a number of fragrances I think there's milk there's gold those are some of the more popular ones but I think moss is really right right up my alley so uh, I think they may have looked at the number of white hairs on my beard before they chose what to send me either that or it's uh, just simply uh, the fragrance of the month as they called it uh, which was moss so that's just my luck um, again uh, my first impressions always live uh, doesn't matter who catches it um, I don't mind uh, hello Chris Thank you for the comment. I just saw it now. I haven't been looking at the other screen. I've got two screens going. Um, hello from from the USA, uh, which which is which is the home of commodity. They're an American brand, so yeah, good on you guys. Uh, actually, very good uh, in terms of something. And and this uh, okay. So in terms of where where you would wear this. This I'd wear uh, on, like I said, on a summer's day. Maybe when I'm going to go outside, it's going to be hot, and it'll still allow me to sort of smell nice without me radiating all all of the scent out to everybody. This one, the regular moss is just is not impressing me because it's a really faint sort of neroli that's in there. Um, and, and, and maybe there's some moss in the background, but it's, it's just not, not to my taste. I think I've smelled so many things like this already. And if you forced me to wear this, where would I wear it? Or, well, if you liked it, maybe you could wear it anywhere. I think, I think office would be good. It's really inoffensive, very clean, very smooth. Um, this one, I want to wear this outdoors. Actually, it's given me a vibe of a very clean version of uh, Tom Ford's Noir Anthracite, which I think I do have somewhere nearby. It could be, which I do have. Yeah, yeah. But again, like this is like dirty and rough as guts, right? Um, it's it's really dirty, earthy, rough as guts, and uh, it's a very polarizing thing. So if you wanted this kind of vibe without without the uh, polarization, Moss Plus. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Um, hmm. What a conundrum. But uh, yeah, there you go. There it is. And thank you all uh, for watching. All by, by all, I mean four people so far. But that's, that's all right. That's fine. Uh, yep, that's it. And until next time, I get a fragrance that I have not smelled before that I will do an unboxing of. I will not be doing a live. I'll be doing a pre-recorded. So coming up, uh, probably, I just dropped a list video yesterday <clears throat> of vintage fragrances. I'll probably have another uh, list coming up quite soon. And so stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, you know, if you want to, go right ahead and do it. If you don't, then don't. I don't, I don't care. I like this. I like doing this. It's fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think I get to finish this now by hitting the end stream button. Thank you all for joining me. And for those who will be watching later, thank you as always for watching as I click a button.